Hey everyone, happy Friday. I've had a crazy morning already, so if I seem out of it, that's what it is. The guy just left. He was here to inspect our gas lines, and you know, this is the first house I've ever had that has gas, and our fireplace is electric, so it's just the stove, and we have it hooked, um, ready for a like whole house generator and then our fire pit. And so he was showing me like the burners and stuff. And he said that all of them were just too high that we had to adjust them. So I've been doing that. And this morning when I was getting ready, I was thinking, what am I going to wear today? You know? And I had like, I don't know, several strikeouts, but that's how it goes sometimes. So I thought I would share those with you. The first thing is the redone jeans that I bought from the Nordstrom sale. I was so excited about these and I went to put these on today and I have just, this is one of those things I have learned about myself. They're button fly and I literally cannot get them unbuttoned. I had to struggle to get these two unbuttoned. So I have learned by experience see and it like hurts your finger and you can forget about it if you have nails on so i am going to send these back because i just know that i will not wear them i could not i mean i was struggling because i wanted to wear them today with this top and i just could not do it that was strikeout number one then this isn't really a strikeout but it's kind of a pain. I hate returning things, but these were so expensive. I'm going to have to return them. These are the, you know, the Miramar Rag and Bone joggers that look like jeans, but they're made out of like this silky material. Well, these are the regular jeans that are like that. And you can see just like how they're like a pair of summer dress pants but they have the print. Like they have a little bit of seams, but a lot of it, like this is just a print of the pocket. And I saw these and I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it. Finally, I got them and I had to guess on the size. And I guessed size 27, but obviously they're too big. I can't even hold them on. So these I am going to reorder. Look at, like, look at the knee. How there's just like the print of the hole. I just think these will look so good with like a bodysuit and some heels because they're going to have that flow and they're just, they're comfortable, interesting, and I thought I would like them and I thought you guys might like them too and I would try them for us. So that's my first tip is to error sizing down on those. So this dress, I will, I'll try to... After I do this video, maybe try this on for you and put it in here. The bad thing is, and I don't know why they do this, like why do they make us shop the Nordstrom sale in phases if things are going to sell out? So I'm hoping a lot of this stuff that I'm going to show you is sold out, but I'm hoping that you can go to your local Nordstrom and find it, which I know every Nordstrom has, you know, like different things. They can't have it all. So anyway, I was just bummed about that because this is such a pretty dress for like Christmas. This is nice. I mean, it's got just a good body to it. Yeah, see, it's even got the main part of the dress under the ruffles. So that I love. I think we will see. I'm going to break in here and show you this dress. I told you I was going to put little clips in here, but oh, it's just so pretty. But do you think it's too big? It's not really fitted right here, but do you think it still looks pretty? Because it is so pretty. I want it to fit. And I don't know if they're gonna have like an extra small, but it is, I think I'm gonna keep it. Because no matter what, oh, okay, I know it would feel better. Maybe I'll just have it taken in, but just look at how pretty that is. It is such a nice dress. See, not only does it have that, but it has this too. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Such a good dress to get for 
a Christmas party with like a faux fur over it or even your like black leather moto. So I think I'm just gonna have it taken in. What do you think? Or you could put a belt on with it. What about my Carrie Bradshaw, that studded black belt or something like that? So let me know what you think in the comments. It is just so pretty and it feels so good. It reminds me of those like um, grandma nightgowns. You know, the good ones back in the day where they came with a nightgown and a matching like house coat. Think Mad Men. <laughs> so pretty. So I just felt like it was worth me showing it to you. Now, and I, I know this probably isn't still available, but I do know that they restock things when people return it and maybe they restock anyway. So this was probably one of my favorite things that I ordered, even though I think, the, I think my favorite thing that I got is that leather jacket. The, oh my gosh, it feels so good. It feels like Michelin Man. But um, the leather jacket in the red is probably my favorite thing. And then I don't know, you know, how much I'm going to get to wear this. I guess I, around here, I could probably wear it with, you know, just something slim, you know, like a, a bodysuit or something under it because it really doesn't get really cold here, but I'm going to be ready because it is just luxe. I mean, it is so nice and it feels kind of like water repellent. So I figured this will be just good for me to have. I hope that I can wear it enough because I love it. This color, there's just something about it. It just gives me those happy vibes, kind of like these that I don't think I've taken these off since I got them. I wanted to try this on for you and I did notice it has a cord here that you can pull and I guess that makes it more fitted. I'm not exactly sure. Is it? I'm sure it says in the description, but anyway, this is a small, so I would say it's probably true to size, maybe a little bit big. And I love it. I'm so thankful that I was able to get it. As I'm standing up, I'm gonna go ahead and show you these because these will probably be, these and the leather jacket will probably be the most worn. So let me show you. These are the Paige boots. Let me show you against this. Fabulous. Everything I love in a boot. I love that it is that cone-shaped heel. I love that it is a pointed toe. I love that it is just loose enough here so that if you wear these with skinny jeans or leggings, it's gonna give you that Kate Moss vibe, you know, like a little bit of a rocker vibe. And they're easy to get on and off. They're true to size. I mean, everything is just good about these. So let me put this on. I don't think I've even unpacked the other one and show you. Pull up my pants leg here. Aren't they cool? I mean, plenty of room in the toe. They feel like they have a little bit of support. They're just awesome. And you can easily wear these with like a dress too. Let me tuck this in just so you get a little idea. But you could tuck your jean in too. Especially a skinny jean. These are straight legs. These are, I grabbed these out of the closet and I was like, I forgot about you, old friend. These are the Levi's that I ordered from Amazon that I love. When you put them on, it is just like, oh, just so easy. You know, they just fit so good. They're the kind of jeans you can just wear all day. And you can put any shoes with them because of the shape of the leg. So today, we're doing this all backwards, aren't we? Today I thought I would wear these, which I have ended up really liking. These little Tory Burch. These may not be the most flattering things to wear with, but just to be comfortable, I have just really, really liked these. Let's see, let's put on the, you know I'm gonna drag these back out. These are so pretty. The black ones are pretty, but there's just something about that glossy heel. Okay. I love this tone of buff. Okay, so, yeah. Okay. 
oh, these are gonna, I'll have to wear these today. These look so much better than the Tory Burch. So I don't care if the Tory Burch are more comfortable, I'm gonna wear these. Oh, I love them, I love them. And then, if believe it or not, I did not get any makeup this week. I have been going through the makeup in my you know collection. Today, I pulled out the YSL All Hours and I combined like two colors. I think it was BD45 and BD50. And I have always loved that foundation so much, but I don't know if it's because my skin is a little bit stressed out right now, but I'm not loving it as much as the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Like what will ever top that? And the NARS Stromboli. I've really been loving that too. And then I wanted to ask you guys, the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy, you know that has always been like my go-to shimmery, inner corner, sparkly shadow. Is that discontinued? And if it is, what is something similar? So let me know. I've gotten where I like matte shadows, but I like to have at least one little bit of shimmer. So that's something else I tried today. And then for my lip combo, I have on my City Beauty San Diego Gloss and the lip liner. What lip liner? Oh, I ended up using Laura Mercier Plumberry. So that's my lip liner for today. But yesterday I got a package and it was a great big package from Macy's. And I knew my friend B said that she was sending me something. So I opened it and it was all these like the peanuts and everything. I was like, what the heck is this? And then I opened it and I saw a box that said Wedgwood. I was like, oh my goodness. And then it hit me that B sent this to me. Look at this platter that she sent me. So it's Wedgwood China. Bone China, Sailor's Farewell from Kit Kemp. And I love it. So last night, I was so fancy. I told her, I said, you know what? I'm going to use this. Life is too short not to use your china, not to wear your heels, not to use your designer bag. Do it. Enjoy. Every day is special. So last night, Brooke and her boyfriend and Will, Will actually wanted pizza, you know, Thursday night's pizza. But anyway, we cooked out on the grill. And I told John, I said, I want you to put my steak and my shrimp on, the, on this new plate. So he did, and we got a picture and I sent it to her. But it is just so pretty. It is such a classy print. So this morning, I went and looked at all of the dishes. And I'm not gonna get like a whole set of dishes just because I don't know I would worry about them too much, but I might order a few more things that go with this. And the plates that I have been using from CB2, I like them, but when I was on the Macy's website, they have some really pretty dishes. I'll, there's two different sets. I think I've decided on the second set, but there's two different sets that come in all of these different colors that are dishwasher, you know, safe and everything, just good everyday dishes. And then I saw this really pretty gold, I don't know if it, is it a treve or a, I think it's a treve that, you know, just like when we take the pizza stone out or something, you know, you want to put hot stuff on. So I think I'm going to get that, but I just saw so many pretty things at Macy's on their website. So that's something that I kind of forget about. I thought I would tell you about too. So let me go ahead and tell you about the rest of my outfit. Remember when I told you I thought this would look so good? Let me... Go ahead and fasten this so that it will hang right. I just kind of put it over my neck, but really, let's see. How do we want this to, we want this to kind of hang right here, I think, where you can barely see it, yes, but it will definitely go lower. So if you had on just like a black blazer, I think that would look so good. I mean, there's just something about the silver I'm really liking. I went to my parents yesterday and my mom liked it right away. And then here are the earrings, the same ones I wore yesterday. And then the same bracelet and my Rolex watch. And oh, I wanted to get out a ring of his that would match. And so this is the silver and what stone is this? I can't remember, but it's the plaza ring. I'll look and see if he still has it. And I chopped my nails off. I just could not, I couldn't stand it. I like, I like the way long nails look, but I cannot 
type. I cannot email and do my comments and everything as well. And I thought, you know, it's just not worth it. I would rather be able to feel like I can answer all of you guys back and all that stuff. So videos coming up. I have, I think Monday, we might go through my fragrances. So I've got that coming up. And then I had such a good response yesterday from my carnivore video. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if you saw that Dr. Berg had featured me. I did not even know it because I had not been on Instagram. So I, last night after we ate and everything, I got settled, makeup off and everything. And I sat in the bed. I was like, okay, time to do my Instagram. And a lot of you had sent it to me. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Nothing would be as good without you. I mean it. And so that was just really flattering to me. And I was also listening to some other videos this morning on carnivore. And I really want you to not take my word for it. I try to always add other videos down below because I think the best thing for you to do in any situation, anything, is to read all you can. Now, I mean, I still love to read. But I do also like to watch like TED Talks and all kinds of videos on different things. And, you know, then form your own routine, your own opinion. You know, don't just take my word for it. Don't take someone else's word for it. Let us inspire you. And then if you want to, like someone this morning asked me, could she eat dates on the carnivore diet? Where a lot of carnivores do say fruit. Because if you go back, you know, to our to ancestral man, you know, fruit was only available certain times of year and fruit wasn't as big and juicy and all that kind of stuff as it is now. But so anyway, a lot of carnivores do believe that you can eat fruit. And I believe that if you're used to eating two or three prunes a day, that is not going to kill you. The best thing you can do, it's kind of like Dr. Barry said, when you got Doritos on this side and grass fed beef on this side, you just kind of want to be somewhere over here. And I think once you start on this direction, you're going to feel so good. You will form your own little diet and you will know what you can put in there and what you can't. Like I drink Diet Coke. I know it's not good for me, but it's just my one thing that I do that is not good for me or I eat that's not good for me. But, you know, you'll have something like that. There will be a Diet Coke in your life. It might be your glass of wine. It might be your whatever. But you have to do what's right for you. You can't listen to other people. And you'll know, like, if that Diet Coke upset my stomach, I would not be drinking it. I would find something else. So, and it doesn't, I drank it the whole time. It has not, it never kept me out of ketosis. And it never kept me from you know, losing weight. The only reason I say go, you know, as strict as you can from the beginning is it's so valuable when you can add that one thing in at a time. Like say you're just doing carnivore and you add in those prunes and you realize the whole time the prunes have been upsetting your stomach, which that might be what you want, but you know what I mean. Like who would have ever thought green beans would upset my stomach or even like even flavors in like I remember one time I had a peach flavored green tea at Starbucks and I paid for that for about three days and it's not just going to the bathroom it's cramping it's just a lot of things that if you have what I have you understand it just kind of it's like that one thing triggers it and it has to you know work its way through your body thank you so much for your good response on that I am here for you we will keep in touch with all of that kind of stuff feel free to message me and I will see you guys on Monday see you then bye-bye